and saxophonist um, and for the last few years I've been um, uh, experimenting with music for um, solo saxophones that incorporates a lot of obviously extended um, techniques and uh, some uh, preparations as well um, uh, and so the, uh, the some of the music is fully notated um, some of it is improvised and uh, l lately a lot of it is becoming really modular so it's like different every time and uh, a mixture of lots of different things. Um, and so it's sort of resulted from a, a lot of um, tr trial and error and a lot of trips to Bunnings, which is, has been kind of fun. I love Bunnings. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm, my goal is to write music that's really um, super idiomatic to the saxophone, um, whether that's sort of the, the digital patterns or the particular harmonics that that involves, um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, my goal is to create sounds that are totally foreign and um, to, to try and get you to reimagine the, the sound of the saxophone and, and how it can be used and um, sort of what parameters surround um, composition for the instrument. So um, if you like what you hear, I re released an album a couple of years ago um, through Made Now Music. The album's called uh, Forbidden Languages. Um, it's You can find it online. I have a website, Andrew Ball Music. Com. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, that, that piece was um, actually a mashup between a brand new one um, called Sparrow Hawk and a really old one um, that I've played a lot called Jengu. Um, and then this next one is called um, Ogun. It's for prepared baritone saxophone and it's um, a little bit more of an improvisation as well.
Thank you.